welcome back to my channel and welcome to the happiest place on earth, the Freezer Bunny Ice Cream Shop. Yes, the Freezer Bunny Ice Cream Shop. I am so beyond ecstatic to go ahead and show you guys this brand new build that I did and also show you the really cool custom content that uh, you can download to make this place an official Freezer Bunny Ice Cream Shop. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump on in in just a split second. So yes, some of this stuff is uh, CC or custom content or whatever. I will definitely provide the link in the description or maybe a link to my blog and then uh, I, the whole thing will be there so you can download the, the custom content too you know, get what you see here. And I did get some inspiration obviously from the name because somebody did the custom content and created a Freeze a Bunny ice cream shop, but it's a franchise, so the way I see it, this is just another different shop part of that franchise. So I'm not claiming dibs on the name or anything. And also I did gain some inspiration on the build from the person that created the CC. So, or I think they created the CC and the venue, but this is my version, so I like I made this venue. Do you get what I'm saying? I created the lot, I created what you see here, but the CC is not my own. Do you get what I'm saying? All right, anyways, enough jibba jabba. Let me go ahead and show you all what I came up with. So obviously, the uh, whole Freezer Bunny CC stuff came out probably around when Get to Work uh, was launched or released and so for a while it was just decorative objects and you couldn't actually enjoy a nice cold bowl of ice cream but now you can with get to work and this amazing custom content you get a fully functional ice cream shop and I have been testing and exploring so I can tell you guys a thing or two. So if you guys want to download my venue, go ahead and go to Gen2606. Make sure you have the modding um, little checkbox ticked so that it will show up because, again, there's some CC being used. And have fun. <laughs> all right, so let me go ahead and show you all the outside of this venue. So we have the entrance here, which is very simple. Uh, we have the Freezer Bunny logo um, benches and then some... Just regular like table and chairs with a little kind of overhang slash umbrella situation going on. Some more, you know, like promotional decals and of course the freezer bunny sign, which is so flippin' adorable and majestic. I seriously am in the love. It couldn't have turned out any better. Then some freezer bunny themed garbage cans. Over to the left we have some freezer bunny benches to go ahead and maybe have a have a couple cones or a couple licks of spoonfuls of ice cream with your loved ones. Definitely a cool place to take the kids. Over here we have a little like jungle gym sort of situation. But if you do place your lot in Magnolia, you honestly have everything that you could possibly need right next door. But in case you don't, there is a little jungle gym to keep the little ones entertained or just, you know, kind of have them burn off some of that sugar high that they may actually receive once they go to this place. So back here we have a little employees uh, patio sort of thing where we have like a garbage can, uh, we have some ice cream just chilling like a villain, and then same sort of deal, we also have like a little grill. And then I obviously locked it so nobody can enter from the back or anything. And then that's just kind of some roof decals and such. Uh, this is definitely popping up. You can fix that if you wish, but that's kind of what it looks like. You are gonna need BB.move objects on, uh, just an FYI. And there's some decals in the window and it looks like that. It's super freaking adorable and I love it. Ah, I love it so much. All right, so when you come inside, there are going to be some freezer bunny shelves. Now you actually actually can indeed stock these shelves with your favorite um, sort of ice creams or you can stock them with different sort of flavors to sell and then you have full access to set everything for sale. There's also an option here where um, you can just put like the different some different flavors and toppings and then you can uh, go ahead and like just put this guy right back there so they have the option to buy the whole entire carton or just individual flavors with different garnishings. If you're really courteous, you could also set out for some free samples, things like that. I did notice that a fresh, um, let me see if I have one to actually show you guys. So like a fresh 
carton of ice cream or gelato or whatever will last you about seven hours. The individual bowls will last you quite uh, quite a bit longer, which is kind of strange. So I think they'll last about 22 hours on the shelf. So this is definitely like fresh ice cream for uh, first come, first serve. I've also got one of these ice cream machines for sale too, just obviously in case people want to make their own at home. And uh, so this isn't refrigerated or anything, but I mean, it does actually help in a way, like you'll get a full work day out of all your stuff. So what I suggest you going balls in the wall, go super duper crazy and stocking your whole entire shelf. No, I would stock as you go sort of deal, but just for aesthetics, I did kind of go crazy. So we have a whole bunch of different flavors in here and I do have a review of the cool kitchen stuff. So let me go ahead and like add that in with the cool kitchen stuff, get to work. And this CC uh, pack here, this is how I got all that. Um, but yeah, this is definitely the cool kitchen ice cream stuff that is making this all happen today. But anyways, so yeah, I have all that there. And then over here, I have like a little sitting area where Sims can sit and enjoy um, some ice cream. What else are you gonna do? Maybe play some guitar with the freezer bunny guitar. I just thought that'd be really, really cute to have in here since this is like a freezer bunny themed uh, venue. And not to mention it's super hip and cool. It's a place that, you know, grownups, kids and teens can all hang out. Over here, we do have the uh, the refrigerator system or the fridge basically and this will keep your freaking ice creams and 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 cartons frozen for days days I mean days we've got like seven days we've got six days I mean this will definitely help keep your stuff preserved for quite a while but I noticed that the customers tend to gravitate to what's in here and I've yet to sell a single thing of ice cream but that's okay uh, you live and you learn. But over here is our kitchenette area where I do have a door. You can't really see it right now because uh, Mrs. Blair, who is gorgeous by the way, is walking through it, but it is right here and it does section off the kitchen so that, again, you don't have anybody coming behind the counters and trying to steal stuff or make their own ice cream and that we don't have to set these for sale and stuff like that. So here are some more decals, freezer bunny decals. We have a menu and pricing, obviously ice cream machines, some random accessories, paper towels to dry your ditty hands and a freezer bunny fridge to complete the freezer bunny kitchen. There's also random doodads throughout and these little cloud lights, I'm not sure. I do have a tumbler and I do think I re, like t not tweeted these, but reposted, reblogged these. Um, I think my Tumblr is X Urban Sims X. So I think these are on there if you guys wanna check it out. I wanna get in the habit of retweeting or reblogging my CC that I use just so I don't have to like scour for hours, but that's pretty much that. And uh, what else do we have? We have a bathroom. It's very simple. Like there's not much to be had at all, but again, it's kind of coinciding with this very like colorful themed, uh, I guess it's kind of like a restaurant ice cream shop over here is just a little hallway to get you from the kitchen out to the patio and it's like a little employees like nook and there's like a whole bunch of like bulletins and things like that I don't know maybe you need to learn about training or whatever the situation is it's just a little bulletin for the employees and I think that's about all that I have to show you we have speaker systems throughout and that sort of deal uh, I don't know I'm still playing around with these guys I think it's really nice, you know, there are some um, like little like things that come with um, the set where there are like cartons, there's like freezer bunny cartons of ice cream. They're decorative of course, but if you wanted to, you could just go ahead and put those instead of actual ice cream. But I decided to put the actual ice cream just because that's kind of what I wanted to test out. But you could, or you could do like a variation of cartons and then you know, the actual ice cream, whatever you wanted to do, just to kind of fill up that dead space. But so it totally slipped my mind. I forgot to go ahead and show you all the custom uniforms that come with the Freezer Bunny Ice Cream Shop CC collection pack, whatever it's called. So the females and the males both indeed do get their very own uh, little kind of apron slash, you know, uh, work uniform. And it only comes in one variety and this is it. So the back is, this is an extremely high detail too, mind you. The back is really nice. It has the Freezer Bunny logo and nice little pair of jeans on with this, I guess this is like a smock sort of deal and the buttoned up shirt in the front, little Freezer Bunny logo. And I do believe this even includes a 
little hat as well if you want your sims to wear the hat. They don't have to, but it does look pretty dang cute. I think it looks really cute. Now, if you do have the um, Zerbru's uh, work mod, you could probably make this place a uh, kind of like culinary sort of deal, I guess you could. I guess you, if you really wanted, you could try that out, but uh, I just, that popped into my head right now, but. Anyways, and then this is the male's uniform, and it looks exactly the same. It's nearly identical, except he has a little handkerchief in his back butt pocket, and the same smock, and logos throughout, as well as a cap. <laughs> That's pretty much all I have to share with you guys, and uh, I hope you all love this venue. Again, it will be up for download um, on Gen 2606, and you will need the CC in order for it to work. You will need Cool Kitchen and get to work. And I did use some other just like random doodads here and there, but honestly, worst case scenario, you can just swap out all the Freezer Bunny stuff and put in whatever you wish, but I feel like it makes the venue, hence it is named Freezer Bunny after all. So I hope you all enjoyed this venue tour, I guess you could call it. Um, and if you have any questions or anything, just leave them down below. If you guys want to check out my Cool Kitchen review, I'll have that linked, as well as the link to my blog, or my website actually, so you guys can pick up the CC, so you guys can have this awesome venue as well. So don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all on the flip side. <laughs> Bye, guys.